quick update on the gas sensor for emergency workers guys for those of you who haven't seen this before this is the uh, the gas sensor I've created that transmits out over voice to uh, any radio that can receive it uh, it's 433 megahertz in this case using this little module this is the proto that we set up before what I got was these Oshpark boards and I've gone ahead and I've already set it up yeah, the previous video I showed you uh, the initial assembly. What I did is I went and I changed the transmitter and flipped it. And the Arduino is hooked up. Everything is working. What I did is I used a uh, two-cell, 250 milliamp hour LiPo battery here, wired direct to VN. Works perfect. Uh, tons and tons of power here. This will run it a heck of a long time. And the MQ2 is working. Uh, need to get a better gas sensor than these. This is a... Uh, uh, the performance is good for a go no go, but for announcing the individual levels, I don't think it can be relied on. With uh, I got to do some work on the code, maybe I can fix it. But uh, I'm gonna keep looking for a better sensor for downrange, and I want to do more gases. I want to make this more like an industry standard. But that's the package. What we're gonna do is go ahead and put it in the ball, and uh, we'll maybe give it another try here. Gonna do some range tests and check it out some more. See how we're doing. Well, there we go, guys. That's the gas sensor grenade assembled uh, just some foam around it right now which I think will present problems for heat later but I just coiled the antenna keep in mind if you build one of these this does change the tuning of the antenna so you just need to correct for that on your radio I'd hope to do some range tests today but it just started pouring rain outside and doing them indoors just doesn't do it justice because well it's just not far enough so uh, I'll do that in an upcoming video. Uh, what I tested today was uh, about 50 yards through multiple layers of concrete and building material and no problem. Clear signal. It's uh, yapping away. So this is what you can expect to get. We're broadcasting 433.827 with this tuning. And I'll actually show you... I'll actually show you a bit of the problem I'm having with it. Um, with the code and this sensor, it gets confused if we saturate it, so... See, we alerted on CO as well. The smoke likely won't... Oh, the smoke alerted too. So, you can see, it works good as a, a go-no-go, -go, but the code does get confused when we when we give it a bash with a, with a lot of LPG. So uh, it, it works pretty good with smoke, um, not too much problem, but uh, uh, overall I still want to get a different sensor. But uh, yeah, we're in good shape here, guys. It's working great. I uh, bounced it around, thrown it around the room. Um, it's no problem. The old dog chew toy works like a champ. So uh, that's the, uh, the gas sensor in a nutshell. Hope you build one of these. Hope we make it better in the future. I can't wait to see what people make. You can uh, use the pre-made boards uh, that I put up on the Hackaday uh, project. So uh, check it out guys. Hope you make one of these. Really love the concept. I can't wait to see them get better and get out there into the world. Uh, <laughs> disclaimer, this is not certified for an IDLH environment. Uh, if you don't know what IDLH is, uh, it, it don't just you shouldn't be using one anyway. So uh, keep in mind this is uh, not certed. So I uh, hope you build one though, and I hope we take this to the next level. Uh, range desk and some fun upcoming. Cheers, guys.